We're going to spend this lesson having a look at the process of shape tweening text. A few lessons ago I spoke about the differences between motion tweening and shape tweening. Specifically the fact that we cannot apply shape tweening to instances of symbols in the library, such as graphic symbols and movie clips. Now you might ask, how does this apply to text? Well, a text object in Flash in some ways behaves like an instance of a symbol in the library. You won't see it actually sitting in the library, but it has some constraints that it places on shape tweening. So let's have a look. I'll grab the text tool and we'll type a capital letter A. I'll open the properties inspector and up the font size a little bit. Now when I select this using the selection tool you'll see that there's a blue outline around it. This blue outline does not appear around basic drawn shapes, but it does appear if I convert this into a movie clip, which I'll do by hitting the F8 key on the keyboard. Now we have a blue outline. It doesn't look exactly the same as the blue outline on our text, but it's very similar. In a similar fashion to our round circle instance here, our letter A is held inside a container. So to shape tween it, we have to break it out of the container. Let me get rid of this circle here, and I'll demonstrate. Hit Control B on the keyboard, and that breaks this text apart into a basic graphic object. I'll undo that. And you'll see we can do the same thing by choosing Modify and Break Apart, Control-B, or Command-B on a Macintosh. Now, before we go any farther, I'll show you another thing. Let's add a few more letters. When the text object we're breaking apart contains more than one letter, and we choose Break Apart, it only breaks it apart halfway. It breaks it into individual letters. To shape tween these, we have to take the next step and break it apart again. Now we can shape tween this. So let me back this up, back to our simple letter A, and I'm going to change this to a number one. Now let's set up a basic shape tween. The easiest way to do this is to take a copy of the number one and place it at the end of our tween. This is because once we break our text apart, we no longer have the ability to edit that text. We can only change the text while it is still a text object. So let's create a keyframe out here, F6 key for that, tween number two. Remember that this does not affect the original keyframe. Now we can break each one apart. I'm hitting Control B. We'll break this one apart. Control B as well. And now we have our two simple shapes that we can shape tween. Select the first keyframe, open the properties inspector, and choose shape. Now before I run this animation, I'll warn you that it's not going to look perfect. Let's have a look. We tween from the 1 to the 2, but it looks a little bit strange in the middle. As I mentioned earlier, Flash can give us some very, very strange behavior when we're shape tweening. And to deal with this, we use shape hints, which we're going to talk about in the next lesson.